off here in Alaska and tonight's no exception, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. We're here to talk about the top four pistol trends of 2022 and how they're gonna inform what we're gonna see as new releases in 2023. Number one, comped from the factory pistols that will run any kind of ammo. So this is a Sig Spectre comp. I'm gonna run some footage here of Chooks X Macro as well that he just chopped the grip of. Uh, the Hellcat RDP is another from the factory pistol that we've already seen as well as this week the FN 509cc Edge just dropped and it's already getting initially very good reviews. So as you know comp pistols in the past have had issues with running different grains, different powders of ammo and now we're seeing that the factories are getting that tuning dialed in and so I think you're going to see a whole slew more of these pistols being released in the very near future, probably at SHOT Show 2023 if I had to guess. Number two, Metal Frame Striker Fired Pistol Remake. So this one's kind of funny because Chuk and I were talking, check out his channel and subscribe, and kind of wondering where the manufacturers were going to go next because if you look at the history of the Polymer Striker Fired Pistol, you saw the Glock, which I think has already reached a zenith of popularity and is waning now. But with the Glock, you saw a lot of aftermarket modification doing something like undercut trigger guards, uh, reducing the beaver tail, um, adding magwell flares, uh, adding red dot capability, milling slides, that type of thing. Well, the manufacturers were listening and paying attention, and now just about every major manufacturer has come out with their own version of a polymer striker fire gun that incorporates all of those upgrades that used to be the feature set of a Gucci Glock. So we've been talking, wondering what was next. Well, I think we know what's gonna be next, and that's going to be metal framed remakes of all of these guns. So Smith & Wesson just dropped their hat into the ring with their metal framed series. It's called the Smith M2.0 Metal Series that just released. Uh, Sig, as you know, released their own AXG um, to rave reviews. People are really liking that as well. Um, on the Glock side, you also have somebody like Live Free Armory that's offering the amp with its own metal framed version of uh, Glock Gen 3s. I think you're going to see a lot more of that in the future because I'm not sure where else they're going to go with striker fire guns other than to just remake all of these polymer frame pistols into metal frame options and see if they can get some more sales through that. Number three, double stack 1911s. This is another category that Chuk and I have talked about in the past and wondered when major manufacturers were gonna get into this market given the fact that good double stack 1911s and uh, 2011, which is the name is owned by Staccato, but everyone colloquially calls them that. We are wondering when manufacturers are going to get into that because everyone loves double stack 1911s. They're just phenomenal platforms when they're made right and made well. Uh, well, Springfield Armor really released the Prodigy and so now I expect to see other companies following suit as well in the very near future, probably for SHOT Show 2023, time will tell. And finally, number four hottest category pistol trend in 2022 right now so far is thin compact and full size pistols. As we talked about the Sig X Macro, I'm gonna roll footage again of Chooks. Uh, he shows clearly in his video, go check it out, I'll link a card to it right here, just how big these grips have gotten and they're still being marketed as everyday carry. So uh, I'm not sure if his chopping the grip is a harbinger of that they've reached their um, apex and we're going to start kind of backtracking from here but as of now the SIG P365X Macro has an amazingly long grip and a 17 round capacity 17 plus one um, other companies are following suit with similar pistols uh, the Hellcat Pro which is a 15 plus one thin version of a compact almost full-size pistol uh, the Masada Slim, which even though it's a 13 plus one capacity, also kind of follows suit with that. So not only the metal frame, but I think we're going to see remakes and even brand new versions of uh, similar size form with compact and full size, but just making them thinner, like an inch between an inch and 1.1 inches wide overall. So let me know what you think. Uh, these are the trends that I'm seeing, and I expect to see a lot more releases of these in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon and Spreadshop below, as well as my Amazon storefront. 
Appreciate you guys. Looking forward to the comments. Thanks for joining me on the journey. LW Road, out.